How's it going guys? Coming at you with a review of this ammunition right here which is the Privy Partisan uh, 6.5 Grendel. This is a 120 grain hollow point boat tail. And uh, I picked this this ammunition up for right around 17 bucks uh, per 20. And so it's not necessarily the cheapest ammunition out there. I got this at Cabela's. Online you can get it for, for cheaper than this. I think you can get it for less than 14 bucks a box. So it's a pretty good value and uh, I'm really happy with how it performed. We shot it out of the 6.5, uh, the Project Grendel uh, rifle today. And we're going to show you the, uh, the target that uh, we shot it with. But first, we're going to load one in the kinetic camera and we're going to break it down and see what it looks like on the inside, okay? Let's uh, load it up, give it a whack here on the concrete. Two whacks did it, unlike that uh, the wolf stuff that we that we uh, tested before. It took me like 10 whacks to get that stuff out of there. So let's go ahead and put it in. Okay. All right, set this off to the side here. Okay, so First off, let's go ahead and take a look at the casing itself. There it is. PPU there. Uh, brass cased. It's going to be um, boxer primed, I believe. Let me just take a look inside here. Yep, it is boxer primed. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't think you can. Anyway, very, very shiny brass. Uh, very clean, boxer primed, non-corrosive. Uh, Cabela's had a uh, hundred uh, bags of a hundred of this stuff that's deprimed, ready to reload. There, I can't remember exactly how much it cost, but anyway, they had they had a a thing of that there. So let's uh, set the bullet off to the side, and we'll look at the powder. Powder is a kind of a standard standard ball powder. Nothing nothing super fancy. Just kind of a standard uh, ball powder. Let's see if we can get it to focus real good. There we go. Yep, just a, just a just a ball powder there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the round here. So as you can see, it's actually a pretty long bullet. Uh, definitely a boat tail, and it is a full cased round. And as you can see, there's the hollow point there up top. So let's go ahead and give you uh, some measurements on that on that bullet. Overall length is 1.169, okay? And if we look at the diameter of the bullet, okay, two, six, four and a half. Okay, that's the diameter. So yeah, just a, just a very, very good looking, good looking bullet for sure. Okay, I forgot to show you the overall cartridge. So let's go ahead and look at the overall cartridge itself. As you can see, I love the looks of that uh, that Grendel uh, that Grendel casing. You know, nice little squat cartridge there with a long bullet sticking out the top. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, for sure. Kind of a handsome in its own right <laughs> bullet. So cool. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the target that we shot. Okay. Now, I only had one box of this stuff, and but that's all I needed. <laughs> if you guys are looking at this this target, you can you can see uh, that I only had to shoot four groups because they were super consistent, and it just shot really really well. The best group was 0.46 inches. Awesome, really awesome. Uh, the worst group was this 0.86, so just over three quarters of a minute. And then we had a three-quarter minute group at two, or at 0 0.726 and 0 0.64. So as you can see, guys, uh, this stuff was really, really accurate out of that 20-inch uh, Lilja barrel on the Project Grendel. Uh, super good ammunition. I'm actually really, really surprised at uh, how well this shot. Now, that being said, I have had good... Uh, a good, um, I guess, experience with the PPU ammunition in the past. It's pretty decent stuff. I think they do a pretty, a pretty good job uh, with their loadings. And as you can see uh, right here, that that accuracy is pretty awesome, actually. I'll annotate the the exact average velocity, but I was getting getting about 20, uh, 2550 out of this 20 inch barrel 
um, on the Project Grendel. So, uh, you know, decently fast ammunition, t over 25, 50 feet per second. Uh, so, but as you guys can see, the accuracy is awesome. Um, I'm not sure what the ballistic coefficient on this round actually is. I will do a little research and I'll annotate that if I if I find it as well. Uh, but uh, if you guys are looking for cheaper uh, long range ammunition for the Grendel. I think uh, this 120 grain stuff from the PPU is definitely uh, something you need to take a look at. See if your rifle likes it. Uh, mine absolutely uh, likes it. In fact, that's some good dang groups. I think that's almost better than the uh, the Hornady SST ammunition that I was shooting through it. So really, really cool. Um, I will definitely be picking up a couple hundred rounds of this stuff when it becomes available at a, at a, a cheap price like i said there's a places you can get it for less than 14 bucks a box so i'll probably uh order a couple hundred rounds of this stuff because if it shot this this well it's definitely going to be great ammunition uh for plinking so for plinking and long range so anyway guys uh that's just a review on that ppu ammunition if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you've seen in the video uh feel free to leave them in the comment section down below uh don't forget to like the video if you do like what you see and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys for more reviews just like this in the future and also you can hit us up on instagram facebook twitter uh google plus yeah so if you guys are interested in that, uh, we, we post a lot of things before we post them on, on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in getting the heads up ahead of time, uh, go ahead and hit those up as well. So, And as always, guys, thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.